Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take an interesting problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad, the preliminary section, Hong Kong 2022. Here in this problem, we are given 22 factorial based on what you see here. In this number, we are missing three digits and we need to find these three digits. So let's see how we are going to solve this. I'm going to start with using A, B, C for these three digits. And then we are going to find what we have for this A, B, and C. The tricky thing here is to see how we are going to solve this. Normally, when you have something like this, what we are going to end up with is to find a value that is going to be divisible here. You have 22 factorial, we write it as 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, so on and so forth, up to 22. And obviously, if we select anything from these numbers that you see here, let's say 3, 7, 11, 12, whatever, and then you can just divide this 22 factorial by that number. Now, the tricky part here is to find something that we are going to simplify the problem itself. In this problem, I'm going to pick 7, 11, and 13. 7, 11, and 13. Why do we care about these numbers? Remember, if you multiply these three, at the end, you can divide this 22 factorial with the answer. And if you do this multiplication, you see that it's going to be 1001. Why this 1001 is interesting here? 1001 is interesting because it's one more than 1000. And you can say that we have what you see here. So basically the remainder of 1001 if you divide it by 1000, it's going to be 1. I'm going to use this here and you see how. First, I need to divide this number into three digit parts. So to do that, I'm going to do this division and then you see it's going to be a bunch of three digit value and so on and so forth. So let me actually finalize the last two to be able to continue and now I have what I wanted to show you guys. So this is what you have here and what I'm going to do is to basically write this value or 22 factorial based on this split that I did. First of all it's going to start with this zero so it's going to be zero plus then I have this 680 and obviously I need to write it as times 1000 because I already took three digits. Then I will have this ABC that I don't know what it is times 1000 to the power of 2 plus this 777 times 1000 to the power of 3 plus 7 to 7 times 1000 to the power of 4 plus another 0 plus 1 to 4 1000 to the power of so you need to ignore 5 and then just write 6 plus 1 times 1000 to the power of 7 now you have what you need to start with the rest is going to be a little bit straightforward remember we have this 1000 and 1 and we took the division and we saw that the remainder is going to be 1 basically it means that if i write 22 factorial and then i say or i ask this question what's the remainder of this 22 factorial if I divide that by 
1001. It's going to be zero. First, let's verify that. Remember, 22 factorial is going to have 7, 11, and 13 somewhere in the middle of what we have here. So if you divide that by this 1001, it's going to be zero. Basically, it means that if I take the other side and divide it that by 1001, the remainder is going to be zero. So let's do that. I'm going to write what I have for each term as the remainder. It's going to be zero here. For 1000, it's going to be negative one. Then it's going to be negative one to the power of two, which is going to be one. I have this negative one here. I have one here. I have one here and I have negative one here. So at the end, I will have minus 680 plus ABC minus 777 plus 727. It's going to be zero here plus 124 minus one. Equals to zero. So what I have here is basically just an equation. We are going to find ABC, which is something that I have here, and then the rest is going to be some constants. So let's start with writing what I have here. You can say that this is going to be negative 50. So now I have this negative 680, negative 50, which is going to be negative 730. And then I'm going to have this negative 1, which is going to be negative 731. And then I need to add this 124, which is going to be negative 607 so I can say that ABC is going to be 607 and the last thing that I need to do is to say that what value I have for ABC so it's going to be 607 and that's our final answer Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities and problems from different maths competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.